Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm going to explain the Piano Roll Swing Quantization update that was added in Logic Pro 10.7.8. So if you recently updated to 10.7.8, you may not even know it yet, but your swing slider in the Piano Roll editor functions way differently than it did before. I actually thought this was a bug at first, but it's actually an intentional new feature. And while it does give you more control over the swing position of notes in the piano roll, it can be a bit confusing at first. So I'm not here to debate whether I like the feature or whether it's a good or bad addition. I'm just gonna show you what it is and how it compares to previous versions of Logic so you're not confused when you first encounter this. So one of the things you'll notice in Logic 10.7.8 and higher is that the swing slider's default position is actually set to 50 as opposed to zero like it is in previous versions. Now I have a 16th note beat here, but it needs to be quantized. Let's give this a listen as is. So there's some time inconsistencies here. I'm just gonna select all of these notes. We'll quantize this to a 16th note. We'll set the strength to 100. And if you're used to previous versions of Logic, you would set the swing to zero, but I'm gonna keep it at 50 and hit the Q button to quantize. So what you'll see is that in this new update, a swing setting of 50 is actually no swing. So this is just a straight 16th note B. So in Logic 10.7.8 and higher, the swing slider has been turned into a swing offset slider. So 50 means no swing, just straight 16th notes or straight eighth notes, whatever value you're quantizing to. As you pull the slider up above 50, this offsets every other note to the right. And as you pull this below 50, it offsets every other note to the left. So if I wanted to actually apply swing, I'm gonna have to set the value above 50 to get that swing feel. One thing I don't like about this feature though is they didn't add an option click to it. So if you wanna set this back to no swing, you're actually gonna to have to just manually move this back to 50. Now, if you're still confused, let me jump over to an earlier version of Logic on another computer and I'll review how things used to be. So if you're using Logic 10.7.7 or earlier, zero swing means no swing. So just straight 16th notes here. and 100% swing maxes out the amount of swing you can have in the piano roll editor in these earlier versions. Okay, so that's pretty simple in the earlier versions, but if I jump back over to 10.7.8, like I said before, a swing setting of 50 describes the offset of the note. So no swing. And if I pull the swing slider up to 66, this is essentially the same thing as 100% swing in earlier versions. And while many people may not like this new addition just because it's a little bit confusing, it actually allows you to add a greater degree of control over your swing and offset. So if you want like a really heavy swing, you can pull this up above 66%. Or if you want to create like an inverted swing or an inverse swing or an inverse shuffle type effect, you can pull the slider below 50. So if you've updated to 10.7.8 or later, or you plan on updating, you just wanna be very aware of this new feature because it can be quite confusing if you're jumping into the update completely blind. Now, the reason for this update is to align the Piano Roll Editor's quantization features with the region inspector. For example, if I select the region and I use the region inspector to quantize instead of the piano roll editor, so I'll just select the 16th note, you'll see that this Q swing option comes up and by default, it's just blank. This value by default is actually 50. So if I pull this down 
below 51, you'll see that it just disappears. So with Q-Swing, this is exactly the same thing as the swing slider in the piano roll now. So if I pull this up to 66, I'll get swing. If I pull this below 50, I'll get that inverted or inverse swing. So this Q swing feature is something that's been built into the region inspector for a long time, going back even before Logic 10. So the reason for doing this is to align the piano roll editor's swing function with the swing function in the region inspector. So I hope this video has helped clear up any confusion about this new feature in Logic Pro 10.7.8. I'm going to add this video as a bonus video in my new Logic Pro Essentials course available over at logicproguide.com. This is a 35 part comprehensive course that you can download and take with you and watch wherever you like. It follows the first 35 videos of my ultimate guide to Logic Pro series. It comes with all of the demo projects, and it also comes with a bonus multi-track mix project if you want to practice your mixing and production techniques. So if you want to help support the channel and you want to download that entire series completely ad-free, all of the sponsorships have been cut out, there's no YouTube ads, again, you can check out the course at logicproguide.com. As always, thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.